welcome back. I am Chris the girl and it definitely feels very very good to be back. <laughs> I haven't uh, made a video in quite some time here, mostly because of the holidays. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope that you had a great uh, a great day, a great Christmas day. Um, I know that we did. It was it was really nice. We had family come into town. Um, unfortunately, I did have the flu, uh, so that part was not fun in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but as you can see, I am still alive <laughs> and uh, on the other end of it, thankfully. So uh, feeling much, much, much better than where I was just just a week ago. Anyway, uh, feels very, very good to be back. And speaking of back, we are also back at it with... Killstar. We are working with Killstar once again and this time we are doing a special giveaway with them and I'm so excited about this because it's kind of it's gonna be a great Christmas slash New Year's sort of sort of deal. So I'm gonna go into all of the details of the giveaway at the end of this video but essentially Killstar is giving you all a $250 gift card to their online store and let me tell you 250 dollars that's a that's a lot of money that can buy you a lot of stuff um so i'm so so excited about this um and like i said i'll go into the details of the giveaway at the end of this video before we do all of that though <laughs> um kind of the purpose of me making a video on all of this because to be quite honest i didn't really have to i could have just done in, in a little post or something on social media but i wanted to do a whole video because i thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about some different outfit ideas like I said, the New Year's are coming up as of the time of this recording in just a few days. It's going to be 2024. And um, if you're like me, you may like to kind of use that time to sort of obviously make resolutions, right? But, you know, we're, we're going into a new year, new year, new me sort of thing. And um, part of that for me is thinking about my wardrobe, to be quite honest with you all. Um, how do I reinvent my wardrobe? How do I, you know, make more outfits out of the clothes that I already have? What needs to go? What needs to stay? All of that good stuff. So with this giveaway, with this $250 gift card, I hope that this will kind of inspire you maybe to think about your own wardrobe. Maybe, you know, $250, that buys a head to toe new wardrobe. Let me tell you, it does. Um, so I don't know, just a sort of idea out there for y'all. You can use, you could use that money however you want, but, um, I think a whole new wardrobe is a great way to start off the new year. And, um, I'm so thankful to Killstar because they did gift me, uh, the, the items that I am wearing right now, a new outfit, and it is adorable and it is amazing and it is the perfect way. It seriously is the perfect way to start off 2024 with a brand new outfit and now I'm not dying from a flu and all of that stuff. So I feel pretty good. It's the first time I've worn makeup in a really long time. So anyway, <laughs> let me uh, go ahead and explain this outfit here to you. So besides the hat that I am wearing right now, which is the Witch Brim hat, I've had this for well over a year. Um, I love this thing, it's amazing, it's a staple piece, and can't recommend it enough. Makes every outfit instantly more witchy and amazing and whimsical and fantastic. Um, besides the hat, I am essentially have three pieces, uh, three new clothing pieces. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can mix and match with very, 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 very basic items inside of your wardrobe uh, to make it a whole plethora of different outfit ideas. Now, when I say very basic items in your wardrobe, I mean, if it's in my wardrobe, it's more than likely in your wardrobe, trust me. Believe it or not, I don't own that many clothes. <laughs> I really don't. So um, I'm try I tried to find some very basic stuff that I think basically everybody has that you could pair with the three items that I got today, or more or less the two items um, that I'm wearing, this skirt here and this top, to make a bunch of different outfits. 
When I am looking for clothes personally, I like to try to stretch, <laughs> stretch the dollar, stretch the amount of times that I can wear these clothes. Obviously every now and then it's fantastic to just splurge on a really pretty dress or you know really pretty shoes or whatever it may be and it's like this is a one-time thing or you know i know i'm only going to wear this on special occasions or only to work or whatever it may be but essentially i like to find items that i can pair with other things so i can get more longevity out of these items <laughs> so that's kind of where i'm going with all of this i'm giving you some options of basic items that you could get from killstar um, and then pair them with your own items at home, your own wardrobe items at home to make it a whole plethora of outfits. So we'll start with what I'm wearing. <laughs> that is uh, the shirt here is the Zania High Low shirt. And it's this really adorable striped black and white shirt. Now I know a lot of people don't necessarily like stripes, black and white. It's it's definitely, look, it's a statement piece, okay? I, I definitely understand that that's not gonna be for everybody, but black and white, you know, it, it goes with basically everything. And yes, it is a pattern, but I promise you, you can pair it with other things to not make it so wah. And then the skirt that I'm wearing here is called the Sus Suspend Me Statement Skirt in black. And this piece uh, is actually one of Killstar's staple things. It's one of the items that um, I guess is a, one of their best sellers. And I can definitely see why. It is an adorable suspender skirt situation thing here. And um, I mean, gosh, you could pair this with absolutely anything. We're gonna go into that. And then I did also get a pair of shoes. These are, oh, these are so cute. I love these shoes. They're called the Luciferi Creepers. And these are my first pair of creepers. It's a very particular kind of of shoe, as you can see here. It's got a bit of a platform. It's got amazing detailing on there. Nice, beautiful velvet finish. Cute little ribbon for the, for the shoe ties. Oh my gosh, these shoes are so cute. I've been eyeing these for the longest time and they finally have found their way onto my feet. Um, but so yeah, so these are the Luciferi Creepers. So those are the three things that were gifted to me by Killstar. Once again, thank you so much to Killstar. We'll start with the skirt here. Uh, like I said, this is a very, in my opinion, versatile skirt. I think that's one of the reasons probably why it's a bestseller. It's also very comfy, by the way. And it does have a bit of a stretch, which is really nice. Um, I was kind of nervous about the suspenders of it all because I've never really done that before except when I was, you know, like nine. Um, but I gotta say it's, it's super cute and I do really like it and I think it's gonna pair very well with a bunch of different things. Obviously what you're seeing here first is me and the whole outfit here together. And I thought in general it would look really nice together, the black and white and the black skirt. It's classic, it just, it looks good to me. I think it looks super, super cute. I would also say that if you are nervous about black and white stripes or stripes in general, or maybe a, uh, you know, overly patterned shirt, a busy shirt, you could pair it with, this would be a great skirt to pair it with because it's a high-waisted skirt. It goes all the way up here and um so it, it covers a lot of the stripes so it doesn't make it as like wah so yeah i think this outfit in general is super adorable and um you could also put in this next outfit here i put on just a plain uh t-shirt just a t-shirt out of my closet doesn't have to be black i just happen to have a lot of black t-shirts and um, you can make it a heck of a lot more casual, more casual of an outfit. I can't wait. Personally, this was like super, super comfy. I can't wait to wear this to like Disney World <laughs> or something like that, like where I'm just walking around and, and having a good time because it was seriously very, very comfy. 
and I just think it looks super cute uh, with just a, a you know any kind of tee or you could do a crop top or something like that as well and just make it very casual um, also I I didn't mess around with shoes in in the footage that you'll see in here when I'm modeling everything but I think that you could wear a, any kind of shoe really with the skirt um, you know if you wanted to throw on some sandals that would definitely make it a lot more casual and then also <laughs> If the whole black and white uh, witchy sort of aesthetic isn't your thing, you can always put on a colorful shirt. Why not throw some color in there as well? Um, that gives it a whole other vibe of, you know, normal, <laughs> what normal people wear. Um, so I thought that this outfit was really uh, cute too. I actually didn't even think about it, but I ended up wearing stripes again. But in any case, I, I still think it's really adorable um, adding some color into the into the whole outfit as well. You could add fishnet tights, you could add leggings, you could add knee-high socks. That would be super adorable as well. I think that there is just a lot of different options when it comes to this skirt and that's the main reason why I picked it out truly. I think it is very, very versatile. I can't wait to play with different things. Um, as I wear it in the future and I just think it's super adorable and of course yeah it's black so it's gonna go with basically absolutely anything so very excited about the skirt and then as far as the shirt goes um, I paired it with a couple of different things so first of all you could definitely make it more on the witchy side of things so I put on just a plain long black skirt and um, I think you know, long black maxi skirts, like that makes anything like a bit more witchy, right? Um, but I thought that it was especially so in this case. So if that's more your vibe, you could do something like that. Also, my initial thinking with this shirt was just some leggings. Just throw on some leggings underneath and kind of make it, in a way, you can make it a bit more casual, but it also kind of made me think of like going into the office because it is... It is a collared shirt. It is a very nice shirt. Um, so obviously you probably wouldn't wear leggings to the office, but like if you just have like black slacks or something like that, then you could put those on and put have the shirt on. It kind of gives you that vibe in here already. Um, and I think that you could you could probably pull this off going into the office. I know when I was working in a cubicle, I uh, kind of pushed the limits on the things that I could wear into the office. Um, but I would definitely be doing that with this shirt, 100%. It is a little bit difficult because it is a high-low shirt, so it's uh, a little bit higher up in, the, up in the front of it and a little bit lower in the back of it. Um, so it, it does have like a weird, a weird shape to it. Just keep that in mind. It might be hard to like tuck into your slacks or something like that, but I still think that you could probably get away with it, um, going into the office. It is a li it's ever so slightly see-through, but it's, I don't think it's enough personally to, uh, to draw more attention than maybe you want to in the office. Um, also, again, for the normies out there, throw on some jeans. Just throw on some jeans underneath. I rolled up the sleeves and kind of tied it in the front to make it like a little bit more casual. Obviously you don't have to do that, but just trying to think of different ideas, different ways that you could wear it. Um, again, feel that this is a very, very versatile shirt and I actually really loved it with the jeans. I'm not gonna lie, like that was actually my favorite outfit piece of, I think, all of them. Um, so I'll definitely be wearing that in the future. But uh, again, like I think that there, there's there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. You could you, obviously you could put some shorts on underneath. Um, you could put a different skirt on underneath too. Uh, I would just say, you know, again, black and white stripes. It's a busy shirt, okay? It's a very, very busy shirt. So you just gotta, if as long as you keep the rest of the outfit more um, tamed down, I guess I should say, then the stripes aren't gonna be that much of a, of a big deal. I would definitely say go for it. If you're nervous about it, just go for it, give it a try, and uh, you may be surprised. You may like it a lot more than 
than you thought you would. And then like I said, I didn't really experiment with the shoes throughout uh, all of this basically. I kept I kept my creepers on the whole time. And um, part of the reason is because, first of all, I was a little bit lazy. I'm not gonna lie to you all. Um, and I don't own that many pairs of shoes. But I also think that the creepers are a great option because they, <sighs> To me, they make any outfit either casual or, you know, a little bit, I don't want to say formal. Formal's not the right, we don't use that word in here. Um, it makes it a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more, you know, you could wear these on a date night or you could wear them going grocery shopping, you know what I mean? Like, they have that unique ability, in my opinion, to go either way. And um, with all of these outfits, I found that the, the creepers really just, um, they went with all of them. And again, in my opinion, like they went with every single outfit. It's like, the, the, I don't know, it's just one of those universal sort of things. Um, and like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm trying to stretch the dollar. I'm trying to stretch uh, whatever outfit you know, whatever clothing things that I buy, I'm always thinking, okay, what else can I wear with this to make it last longer? So if you're, if you're thinking about a shoe, why not try out the Creepers? Are they the most comfortable thing in the entire world? No, I'm not going to lie to you all. They, they definitely are not, but they sure are adorable. And I think I'm going to get used to them um, eventually. Like I said, these are my first pair of Creepers, so I think it's going to take me some time to to get used to the platform of it all and, and whatnot. But anyway, so yeah, I hope that this gives you some inspiration, uh, some ideas, I don't know. I don't think that I said anything earth shattering or news to anybody, quite frankly. I don't, I don't claim to be a style person, um, but I know what I like. And um, I know that sometimes it's, you know, we look inside of our closets and it's just like, wow, I have nothing to wear and I have all of these clothes. Um, so just going in maybe with some fresh eyes and some fresh ideas, I know that always helps me. Uh, so I hope that this helps you as well. And um, yeah, like I said, Thank you so much to Killstar for the awesome outfit. This is really, really cool. And I'm so excited that they are, once again, giving away $250 for you to choose your own outfit or whatever you want from Killstar. So let's get into the details of this giveaway. So I have my phone here just so, to make sure that I don't forget anything here. So first of all, make sure you find me on the social medias. This giveaway is gonna be happening on Instagram specifically. So on Instagram, you have to make sure that you're following me, Chris the Girl. I will put the link down in the description below. Also make sure you are following Killstar on Instagram as well as the Creepshers underscore net uh, Instagram as well, which is, I will show you. These little guys are creatures and they are the most adorable thing on the face of the planet. They sure are. These cute little scary stuffed animals. These are uh, part of Killstar's um, repertoire of things to do. So anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but anyway, so that's three accounts, three Instagram accounts to follow on the social medias on Instagram. I'll put all of those down in the uh, description below. So you have to follow all three and then also tag your partner in crime on the post. So Starting Friday, December the 29th, I will put a post on my Instagram and I will have all of the instructions laid out on there as well. Um, I will do a post on Instagram and then on that post, you have to tag at least one person um, in, the, in the comment section. And by the way, there's no limit to how many times you can comment and tag people. Each tag and comment is a brand new, <laughs> It's a brand new entry. Oh boy. Um, and then finally, share it to your story is also an extra entry as well. Holy moly. So let me run it through one more time. So on my Instagram, I will be posting something on Friday, December the 29th. 
And on that post, you're gonna wanna tag a pal on there in the comments section, and that is one entry. Every time you tag somebody <laughs> on that post, that's an extra entry if you're tagging different people. And also if you share it to your Instagram story, that is also an extra entry. So it's pretty darn simple. Actually, I think most giveaways are, are like this. You know, you go on Instagram and you tag your friend and all that good stuff. I get tagged all the time. Um, and then, yeah, and then a winner will be chosen, which is very, very exciting. Um, so yeah, $250 gift card to Killstar can be yours. Make sure you take a look at it Friday, December the 29th. Uh, the entire thing is running through Sunday, December the 31st. So once again, new year, new you, new outfit or homeware or accessories or shoes or whatever you want. There's nothing stopping you from using all of that money to just buy a bunch of shoes or, you know, buy a bunch of handbags or accessories or whatever it is that you want. Um, pretty darn exciting. $250, that's going to get you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And with all that said, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I surely do hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely very different from kind of what we usually do on the channel, more or less. Um, but if you like it, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Let me know if you like this sort of thing. We can definitely do more things like it for sure. Um, just in terms of like, I don't know, fashion stuff. I don't know. I, once again, I don't necessarily consider myself a fashion person, but here we are, here we are. Um, but anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I know I did, it was a lot of fun. Thank you once again to Killstar for the awesome outfit and for hooking you all up for $250 of a gift card. That is amazing, I'm so excited about it. Can't wait to see who wins. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up here. New Year is upon us 2024. We already have a lot of travel plans, a lot of stuff going on. I'm super excited about it. There's so many goals and things that I want to do in this new year. And um, I'm just really excited to take you all along with me. So again, I hope that you all had a happy holidays. Have a happy holidays. And I appreciate you all. Thank you for sticking with me as I took this time off for my health in more ways <laughs> than one. So um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. May the odds be ever in your Instagram favor. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya later.